Jolly good show, Major. <laughs> what is going on, TTC? Proper conversation. Okay. I have to ask a question. Maybe someone can enlighten me. What is it about every fan of a team that's been around since I'll call the well, let's call it the dawning age of football, okay? This is since, since you know roughly the beginning or even the beginning. Every fan of a team that's been around since the way back, okay? It's, you know, talking like the, the merger area. The first thing they want to talk about after they talk about how whatever team they're playing against, if it's a, if it's a uh, relatively speaking new team in the NFL, um, uh, for, after they call their whole fan base bandwagon, um, they want to go ahead and start with the same old bullshit about how you probably don't even know who the quarterback was back then. You probably can't name me four wide receivers. You probably can't name me three running backs. It's always the same stuff. I keep telling you guys, you have to come with some new material. I'm talking about you, uh, uh, Judah Tribe. Actually, I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you Jonah Cried because that's all you was doing, Jonah. Jonah, you were just crying in your video, all right? And you were crying in that whack ass rap video. And you know what, Jonah? Jonah, I'm gonna do. A, I'm gonna do a rap video for you. I'm gonna do a, a rap song for you, bro. I'm gonna do a. Um, uh, I'm, I'm gonna rap. I'm gonna rap over a beat for you, uh, uh, Jonah. Jonah Cried. <laughs> Man, Jonah Cried gets on his video after he did his little. His little. Uh, sweet, <laughs> sweet love, <laughs> his sweet love rap video. He wants to get on do a video about Seahawks fans being bad wagon all over again. Super rookie already touched on it, but come on, man. Hey, you, you want you want to give us a quiz? Give us a quiz. Come on, bro. Who said we want the ball? We're gonna score. You 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 aren't even. Matter of fact. You're gonna call us bandwagon fans? Well, you must be a bandwagon football fan in general because you're asking us questions and you're not even asking the questions right. How are you gonna ask us? How are you gonna quiz Seahawks fans talking about name? Uh, uh, would you say name three names of the stadium before it was Quest Field? For it ain't even Quest Field now. <laughs> it's not even Quest Field now, and it wasn't three names before it was Quest Field. So you can't you you're asking a question that doesn't even have an answer because the question itself is is is, is retarded. The, the question itself is just fundamentally incorrect. How you going how you gonna quiz us on something you can't even ask the question right? Come on, bro. Look, Super Rookie told you I it don't it don't take but just a couple of clicks on my on my um on my video feed you can see where I came from bro I was born and raised in Bremerton Washington about fifty five minutes uh west of Seattle born and raised okay I I knew now now the Kingdom which is where the Seahawks played before they got the new stadium built you want your three names you got the Kingdom you got Husky Stadium while number one when the tiles fell from the Kingdom they had to play in Husky Stadium for a little while. And then after the, the tiles were fixed, they went back to the Kingdome, and then they played Hucky Stadium again when they blew the Kingdome up to make uh, make way for the new stadium, which was called Seahawks Stadium when it was first built. Then it was called Quest Field, and now it's called CenturyLink. Don't fuck with us, bro. Come on, man. Yeah, it, 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 you're giving us quiz. You're quizzing us, you know. And, and I'm dancing for you. I'm dancing for you, but fuck it. I'll, I'll dance. That's fine. I'll dance for you, bro. But you, you quizzing us with stuff. And it's this rudimentary stuff. You quiz me on rudimentary stuff, bro. Really? Oh, you probably don't know anybody besides Steve Largent from ten, 10 before this. Come on, man. You gotta look. Look, who do you? Uh, you, you look like a like a, a fairly older brother. So so I'm I'm sure you probably have fond memories of your Chicago Bears being a halfway decent team. Um, and you know I don't want to dig too deep on you because I know that your Bears suck now and they suck for a while and they're gonna suck for a while longer. So I can understand you being sore. Um, but listen, bro, you know, you, you, you sound just like everybody else. Everybody wants to get on a say we're bandwagon. And that's what you're going to say because we have recent success. 
But you want to say the only reason that we've only been good for the last three years, that's not even correct. So that just goes to show how much attention you've been paying. Because the real Seahawks fans know that we've been good for a long time. We've been, we've been good. We've been in the mix for quite some time, bro. We've run the NFC West for the duration, for, for, for the majority of the time that we've been in the NFC West. And that's, since, that's since the realignment in 2000, what, 2001, 2002? We've owned the division. Just look at the stats. Okay, we've owned the division. Just look at the stats. All right, you know, don't well. When Mike Holmgren was the coach, and when we weren't that good beforehand, we came through. Mike Holmgren came through. We got playoff victories. We got playoff appearances. We got a Super Bowl appearance, bro. We were there. We've been in the mix. We've been in the mix. We had a little bit of lull after Mike Holmgren left, and then we came right back up with Pete Carroll coming in. So we've been there. We've been there more often than the Bears over the last decade, bro. Just look at the stats. Just look at the stats. You want to talk about bandwagon, you know, you, just look, look, the, team, the team is not brand new good, but the team's been good consistently for a while. Again, just look at the stats. It's right there. Just Google it. Google will tell you anything you want to know. Jonah cried. Look, man, you, bear, you, you, you sound like, like a true Bears fan. And, you know, you, know, you remind me of, um, of the guys from Saturday Night Live. You know, the Bears, the Bears. You know, you're one of those guys. You're a fan because that's who you're supposed to be a fan of, and that's good. But you're walking into a situation you don't want to be in. You got no uh, quarterback. Jimmy Jimmy Clausen is going to be starting a quarterback for you, walking into the Clint. Bro, you guys got no chance. Even if Rex Grossman was there, you have no chance. You got your, your running back, uh, Forte. He only managed to, to, to drum up barely 100 yards all purpose. Barely, if you want Forte to, 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 have a, to be a determining factor in this game, he's going to have to have close to 100 yards and both running and receiving if you want him to be a deter, determining factor in this game. All right? You guys got nothing going for you. And please, just, uh, I, I, I've lost my train of thought about what I was going to say in this video because you just got to stop coming with the bandwagon stuff. The only thing you said in your whole video was bandwagon, bandwagon. Bandwagon. You didn't even say anything else. Like, did you even have, you had, so you obviously have nothing else to say. And I understand that. All right. Jonah cried. I understand that, bro. I understand you're not having much to say because there's nothing for you to say. Seattle is the best team in the NFC until that's proven otherwise. I said it in my previous videos. Until we get dethroned, there's nothing else to say. You guys can talk all the shit you want to talk. But it doesn't matter what you say until until February gets here, or at least at least January gets here, and we're not in the mix. Then you don't have much to say. All right, if December gets here and we're and we're five games below five hundred, okay, then the conversation might change. All right, but until then, look, man, it's just week two. You guys are owing to. We're owing to. We're gonna we're gonna stomp you into the into the grass. At Century League Field, okay, and I hope not. Now, 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 Jonah cried. I, I've, I've never seen your videos before, Jonah cried. Uh, but I hope you know. You, I hope you uh, do your crow, okay. I hope you're ready to do your crow, cause I'm ready to get. It. I've crowed twice this year already, um, and I, I only briefly looked at your, uh, at your, at your, uh, uh, your video feed, but I didn't see any crow videos on your account. So I don't know if you're one of those guys that don't crow, but it's whack if you don't. But that's okay. Um, I'm going to uh, be looking for my crow, Jonah cried, and I got a rap video for you, bro. So, uh, you know, don't don't even trip. I, I, I'm gonna put that up after this one. So, hey, the Bears, the Bears. <laughs> let's let's not forget about the fact that the Bears are 14 point underdogs, <laughs> and you know Vegas, Vegas usually gets it right, right? Vegas usually gets it right. Your boys are 14 point underdogs at the clink on Sunday afternoon. Come on, man. What do you expect to happen? What do you expect to happen? You think Jimmy Clausen is going to go out there and walk on water? That's highly unlikely, bro. Highly unlikely. Go ahead. Temp temper your, temper your, uh, your, your excitement just a bit. You know, bag back just a little bit, bro. Calm yourself down. You guys are going 0-3. Um, and, and, and that's just what, that's just what it is. That's just what it is. Um, yeah, the teddy bears. Teddy bears are not coming out of Seattle with a win, and you already know. You already know. I can tell by watching your video, Jonah cried. 
I can tell by watching a video you you don't really believe that your team is gonna come out of because you know what? Because if you did, you would have said that in the video. If you thought your team was actually gonna win, you would have started talking some shit about why, how, and where your team is going to overpower or overtake or outplay or or out strategize or, or or something to that effect. You would have said something like that in your video. I have nothing you said had anything to do with that. All you said was bandwagon, bandwagon, bandwagon. And then we're going to show up. Well, you have to show up, bro, because, I mean, the game is scheduled for Sunday afternoon. You got to show up. Right? Otherwise, it'll just be a forfeit. You know, so yeah, I know you're going to show up. Y'all show up. You'll be there in uniform, on the field, you know, taking snaps, handing balls off, throwing passes, probably interceptions, you know. But uh, it, it's not going to happen, bro. It's not going to happen. You can cancel Christmas. Anyway, anyway, I don't know if you live in a, I don't know if you live in the Chicago area, bro. Maybe you should go ahead and just take a long walk down the Navy Pier and and you know gather your thoughts and um, you know and and have a have a heart to heart with yourself, you know. Sing some uh, sing some uh, you know sing some sad songs and and think about what you said in your video, bro, and get your shit straight. That's all I got. Fuck the 49ers. Go Hawks.